What is it to have potential? Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Here's a, a clip for you. Um, and this was coming in today and it says, what is it to have potential, right? Um, and I just had um, done a video on the download I got, but I am always getting information um, to share with you. And so it says, it is to believe in yourself as source believes in you, not others. For others believe in you, not for who they know you, not as you are but who you are to them, which is to see you as you are not. Who you are, which is to think you are worthy in their own eyes. And so they think you are what they determine you to be, which is a false illusion. And so don't give to others to what I have given, which is source. Um, which is the purpose and potential to be, for others cannot see your potential, only source. So rise up to me, which is source, not them, which is to believe in you, who you are, where you are, on the way to be something else. For that which rises within you is me, source, the potential to be loved in all ways, for you are me in the being of it now, in the moment of evolution for itself unto itself to get to where you're going later. And so don't believe in others to give you the potential of being for their potential of being, of being is to see of them in their own eyes. Therefore look to source for that which you give to them, which is the power to reign over you to become something else other than itself, which is source. So surrender to source, not them, for if you wait for them to see you through source eyes and give you potential and power, you wait forever. So give everything to source, for source knows your choices and has created everything as an end to its own means. So it knows your path, basically. And so use source as your means, as your reason for being, which is the potential, not others. As source holds space for you, not others, they condemn you to what you are being to them now, because that's all they can see. And so the power and force is not with others, it is within you to seek yourself, for you are it which is within itself, source being, your relation. So keep going and seek no one to be or to hold space for you, but itself in the end, for you return to source, not them. And so it doesn't matter in the end. All right, and so that is basically the little uh, clip channeling that um, I got as a download to share. And this basically came after I was uh, channeling information on um, what it is as far as judgment, right? And so basically our potential um, is, that's why there is no judgment by a source because, you know, there's a lot of reasons and I'm going to go into that in a different video, but basically... Um, there is no judgment by source, just ourselves. And so that's how this topic of the potential came up because it came after that, which, and I'm just, con like I said, I'm just constantly getting stuff to write and channel and everything um, to get this out there to you. But um, that's what it is to have potential. It's, um, it's source has that knowing, and that's why there's no judgment because there's potential to be something else other than you are, which is choice, which is given to you to make your own decisions and so you only judge yourself, which is determined and proven by when we go home, we do the life review, we come back and we rework it out or we reinvent it or we recreate it or we um, see from a different view, from a different perspective, you know, in the family or in the work situation, whatever it is, we're recreating constantly. And so the view of the person when we're looking for to others for our potential to be something else they judge us based on where we are right and so they may not be able to forgive us <laughs> um, for what we've done but source does right and so there's no um, judgment you know there's only forgiveness and grace of where we are because source knows that 
we're on our way. And so there is forgiveness, forgiveness, right? Because part of the other channeling that I got about um, not having any judgment is that basically that it's ignorance to see and look at it as why would source create all of this just to turn around and judge it, right? So it doesn't exist, right? And so a lot of these false teachings that religion has put out there um, and belief systems that come up with this it are, isn't real. It doesn't even make sense, right? And so for a source to create all this and then have judgment against you, that doesn't make sense. It's like, <laughs> um, it, it just doesn't. Um, and when this information comes down to, through me to share with you, you know, that's why it's being given. So you have the understanding of it. And part of the reason why I had my, my, my experiences, my near-death experience going home and so I have this ability to do this, right? And so this is um, things that I'm sharing with you to kind of clear up the false teachings um, that is out there in our belief systems because it holds us back, right? And when we're passing it down, it gets misconstrued again, you know, um, from that point. And so having the understanding that our potential um, comes from source, right? And so where we are now is not where we're going to be because we're always forever changing and evolving. And so it's by choice that we make in the moment that changes it in evolution. And that's why there's no judgment. There's no um, condemning. There's no, no um, heaven or hell. You know, all these things just doesn't exist, right? Um, but we play in these roles as if they are because this is what's been put in place a long time ago, which continues only because we're passing it down, right? And so when we stop passing these false teachings down, uh, we no longer live them and we are able to change and transform them into what is true, right? And so it's when you get rid of your belief systems um, that we can see the truth. It's like emptying the cup when the cup is full, right? You can't put any more in there <laughs> if you don't take any out. Right? So you have to take out the old stuff and put in the new stuff. And so that's why we're in this time of evolution that's bringing forth the, the divine knowledge uh, and the teachings to bring forth this into the new reality that we're going into because this is what we need in order to get there. It's building the bridge. And so when we realize that our knowledge is only from that time frame in reference to itself as we are now, we are evolving out of that consciousness into another consciousness, which is how it all works. We evolve through consciousness on a time frame um, to get from one place to the other, and that's evolution, right? And so one becomes the other to become the other to become the other to become the other. And so that's how we get there. If you look at it, it happens on the scale of everything. You know, you weren't a, you're not a baby anymore. You've evolved, right? And so with that, your awareness evolved, just as it is with religions, you know what we thought was a long time ago isn't because we didn't know ourselves at that point. And so now we're coming in more to of a collective um, energy and vibration and level of awareness and consciousness that we're able to see more of it from a different perspective and we're ready for it. And so that's why all this information and all this stuff is coming through right now and all the people are awakening and having different experiences of the Great Awakening um, to what is the truth. Uh, of our being and our existence here and what's going on because it really needs to happen at this point because if we keep going down the other path, you know, um, that's going to lead us to another <laughs> a way. Um, and so this is the way that we're being guided to go. And so a lot of people are having near-death experiences and coming back and talking about the truth. It's all coming out, you know, and so we're all more on all collective level um, sharing our experiences, which is basically the same, you know, um, from our experiences and so that is just as much as my experience you know that a lot of this doesn't exist as they're teaching it but that's our frame of reference at that time that we needed it but we don't need it anymore so it's shifting out and so the consciousness of you know looking for validation and purpose and potential of others um, in our eyes, you know, we're giving away our powers, what this is saying. And so because they can only see us as we are, because if they don't know themselves, they don't know who we are, and they're still living in that realm, and they only see what we're being. And if we're being something that they don't like, they're going to judge us and condemn us at that. And so they can't see beyond that, which is their reality. And so when we give that, we're giving our power over to them and our potential to be something else. And so if we're continuing to show or they're continuing to see us in that way, 
uh, we're going to keep showing up for them in that way, if that makes sense. And so we're giving them power over us uh, to not be in our own full potential, which is source. And so if we're giving our potential and power over to source and letting source hold our space for us other than others, then we're able to be and move on to being more than who we are, right? Instead of letting others dictate who we are or what they believe us to be and believe in what they're telling us and things like that. Right? So don't give your power over to others um, and let source be your potential and your space holder because he's the one that created it all. So he's the one that knows. And I don't want to say he, but um, we know it as he, but he is actually they because it doesn't have any gender. Source isn't male or female. It's, it's a source. It's an intelligence. It's a creator. Right? It's an evolution right? In, in space and time. And so it, it spreads over space and time. So it can't be a he, right? It can't be a she, it can't be a white or a black or a native or this or orange or purple or green, you know, it, it, or an alien. It's, it's an intelligence, right? Um, which created all things. And for it to do that, it has to be non-physical. So it's not anything in form, right? That we can relate to, but we are the relation because we come from it. It's the creation of us who we are, right? And so give what it's saying is give your potential and your power over to source to allow that to work through you and rise up to source what is it's knowing about you, not others, because if source created it, then it knows all the potential um, options and cho choices that you're going to make throughout your life. So you can be that, right? And it's going to be able to help guide you if you give the power and reins over to source, not others, right? Because they're just going to lead you to somewhere else. And if you're not in control of yourself or understand or know this, then you're kind of going back on the backup plan. And I've talked about the backup plans, right? So um, basically is what it says. And so the power and force is not with others. It's within you to seek yourself for you are it, which is within itself, source being, source, source within, within you to guide you because it knows everything. And so keep going and seek no one to be or hold space for you, but itself in the end for the return to source and not them, right? We, who do we, when we get done with our lives, we go back to source, right? We don't come back to the people. So why do we give our, our power and source over to people? instead of source, right? And so um, take a look at that, you know, and if you have any um, questions or anything like that, drop them below. And of course, I'll be putting more information out as it comes to me. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. And as far as your potential in being um, and where you are, what you are, and, you know, just you know, forgive, forgive, forget. Well, don't want to forget because you want to remember your lessons, you know, but we want to forgive the lesson, how it came about as far as, you know, that creation. But, you know, where you are now is not where you're going to be forever. And so just allow it to be as it is. Um, forgiveness and grace of all beings. All right. Happy journeys.